Hi, my name is Mitch Shippen Savo out of Rutgers Princeton NROTC. And today I'm going to give you a quick rundown on how to wear your khaki uniform, make it look good, how to get your insignias lined up, how to do your cover, and uh, just generally how to wear the uniform. So we're going to get right into it. We're going to look at the khaki uniform and give some basic instructions how to wear it. And we'll just look here. We have full basic components. We have our actual blouse right here, ironed appropriately. When you're issued it, you should follow the creases as issued, but there should be one that goes and bisects this front pocket, one that bisects this other front pocket, and then your sleeves should be creased in line with this seam right here. As for the back, we have three creases here. We have one down the middle, one bisecting it there, and another here. It's best if you just have a uh, the creases that it comes with stay there and then over time if you have to iron it just preserve those creases besides our blouse we have our pants put that there nicely the trousers Oops. trousers are creased like so if I were to wear them they'd be directly down the middle of the pant leg and again you should preserve the crease in your uh, trousers as they come and over time do it. But if you have to do it again, uh, it's going to go and line up directly on the middle of your thigh, about halfway between this seam, the outer seam, and halfway between the inner seam. I'm going to put that away right now. Real quick, besides that, you're going to need your two uniform insignia pins for your collar. You're going to need a fouled anchor for your garrison cap. You're going to need a white t-shirt, some shirt stays because you want to look good. You have your nylon khaki belt, cut to size. Don't cut this end, you'll look like a goofball, everyone will make fun of you. And then your shine black shoes, hopefully they look good. So I'll start here with the hardest part and probably the one everyone has questions about is uh, what do you do with your collar insignias? So. Your whole goal here is to pin them so that the center of your collar insignia is about an inch away from this corner and an inch away from that corner. And if you look at that, wow, who would have thought? It lines up perfectly. I'm just going to kind of mark it with my finger there. All right, this would be awesome. I'm going to use another. It's going to get pinned right there looking beautiful and that's what we want and we're just going to repeat that on the other side as well Keller, now our insignias are on, we're looking good. If you're garrison cover, you're going to want your anchor to be as so. Make the top of your anchor a half inch down from this top uh, crease right here, and then two inches across. And again, at the bottom it should be an inch. So, and then you just pin that on like so, and that's how you wear it. I don't have to tell you how to wear a uniform uh, in terms of clothes, because... It's pretty simple. You put your shirt on like a shirt, you put your pants on like pants, throw your shoes on and some socks. But a great way to make this uniform really look killer is shirt stays. So, I'm gonna close in here. You want your shirt stays kind of running down the back of your leg, like so. What you're gonna do is you're gonna find one of your creases. I like to pick that first one, this one right here. Take your shirt stay. And ideally, you should be doing this before you put your pants on, uh, but, you know, YouTube. You're going to take a little bite of it there and close it, and that will secure it. Next, you're going to run this down your leg to get to your sock, and you're just going to clip it on your sock. There you go. That's going to keep your shirt tucked in the entire time, so as you go about your day, carry out your business, you're going to look great. Your belt should be aligned so that this tab is towards your left side of your body and this edge here 
lines up with this seam on your fly. Your belt should just be popping out. This is wrong. You don't want that. That looks bad. Close it in just like that so all you see is metal. And to do that, if you have to adjust it, you can use the back clip. And then you can move the inside part of your belt and make it look good. My last thing I'm going to go over is how to get a good fold in the back. So you're going to want to pinch these seams here. Tuck your shirt in well. Pinch these seams and bring it forward so it doesn't look like trash. Other than that, we're made presentable. If you're wearing a name tag, name tag is going to go above your right pocket, right here. And your cover's going to go on, excuse me for putting it on indoors. Pop it on, make it look nice, make yourself look presentable. And that's it, that's the khaki uniform. So, any questions, you can always reach out to someone in your unit, senior will love to tell you how to wear the khaki uniform. Some people think it looks like a McDonald's uniform. I think you look awesome because it's just... It's awesome. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you appreciate it and I hope you learned something. Thank you.